good. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I got the Dominator on the block, okay? Uh, I've actually got a, a quick, like, tip that I want to share with you guys. Uh, I actually need to get my antenna through the antenna hole. Uh, on this boat, the antenna set on the other side of the hull brace, okay? So it's actually really tough to get that antenna up and through that through hole right there so i got a little trick for you stick around big b we're in clad rc so yeah i've actually fought <laughs> and fought trying to get this this wire through that through hole like i said it's behind that little brace okay but i've gotten it but, but it literally took me like <laughs> not even kidding like like 30 minutes one time and like a couple beers okay <laughs> all right so what i've what i've been using to do this because i i actually uh i change out this balloon on my receiver pretty often and i was using um cable ties you know zip ties for the balloon but i've actually since started using rubber bands and it, and it seems to be working real good uh with the zip ties i would actually use some um some silicone grease in the balloon so no water gets in but but water always found it was its way in i and i hadn't seen any water since i've been using the rubber bands and the receiver is basically going to go right here once i get it once i get the antenna through its through hole okay so uh I've been using this wire, just some brass wire. I guess any kind of wire will work, but I got a whole roll of this. Okay, and what I do is I'll just feed it through the outside of the boat. Okay, I'll feed it through, and I'm going to try to do this first shot. Probably won't, but I, I'm going to give it a quick rip here. Let's see. Hopefully you guys get a good angle here. So I'm actually going to go through, through the through hole. And we'll use some pliers. Hopefully I can grab the wire here. It could still be a little tedious doing it this method, but this method right here has been working pretty good. Okay, all right, so I got the end of it. And and all I've been doing is making a real small loop like that. Okay, pretty simple. I think the key part is the wrap you put on the loop, make sure there's no tag line sticking out. You know, try to get that wrap real tight compress down onto the the main wire okay you see that so when we pull it through it's not going to get snagged up and you got to be careful doing it like this because you you can actually cut your antenna wire so you got to be careful so your antenna has got like most of them have a thick part and then the thin part, so I've been actually putting this on the thin part, so it just tracks easy through the through hole, okay, like that. I'll try to hold it as long as I can, and pull it through, boom, okay, boom. Alright, that's the simplest and easiest way that I found to get an antenna through a through hole, okay? Instead of trying to find its way through the bottom of the hole there, it's just easier to use a wire, okay? Make sure you use a thin wire, all right? And then, uh, of course, we put our antenna tube on. These carbon fiber holes do not get reception through the hole, so you, 
got to have your antenna sticking through through the hole. I, I really don't like antennas. <laughs> I don't like antennas, but uh, this boat here, you got to have it. Okay, so on my antenna, I usually push my antenna tube all the way to the end of my silicone. I use two different size silicones on this, so I get a nice, tight, watertight fit. And I'll put my antenna tube in, pull my silicones back down, and then put it, put it on the mount so that both of those silicone tubes are grabbing onto the mount, you know, and it's, and it's like, it's actually on there. All right, so uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, next pretty day, we're going to run this boat. I've got a couple new props to try on it. And um, just waiting for some weather. Hopefully this helps you guys out. We'll see you next time.